<laughs> hey guys, before anything else, I'd like to ask you to follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash sensei is live. And now I'd like to welcome you guys back to another new video, and I hope you're going to enjoy this list. Today, Otaku Sensei is going to be recommending the top 10 anime where the main character is badass, overpowered, strong, and doesn't give up. And if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new, remember to hit the notifications button for more upcoming top 10 videos. Also, there's a link to Otaku Sensei's Patreon and Discord server in the description, so join the Sensei server to chat and chill with other weebs and otakus. Without wasting any more time, let's get into this list. In 10th place is Concrete Revolucho Chojin Ginso. On a sunny July day in the 41st year of the Shinka era, Jiro Hitoyoshi is tasked with covertly listening in on a secret meeting between a top government scientist and an industrial spy. However, his cover is blown and the spy reveals himself to be an alien in disguise. Amidst the ensuing chaos, Jiro enlists the aid of cafe waitress and magical girl Kiko Hoshino one of many superhumans who blend into society and secretly protect humanity from extraterrestrial threats. As a member of the government agency known as the Superpopulation Research Laboratory, Jiro has the dual task of protecting superhumans that defend humanity and disposing of any deemed too dangerous to live. Having proven herself a worthy ally, Kiko is invited to join the agency as its newest recruit. Fast forward five years, disapproval and distaste for superhumans are now commonplace in Tokyo. From government corruption and conflicting ideas of justice to the morality of superhuman rights, the relationships between humans and the supernatural minority balances precariously in a world pervaded by whispers of unrest and unease. Under mysterious circumstances, Jiro has betrayed the agency and is now a fugitive on the run. As he skulks through the rainy back alleys of Shinjuku, he is pursued by the very same superhumans that he himself once recruited. In ninth place is Cheating Craft. In a world where academic success decides your entire future, the exam room becomes a ruthless battlefield. Passing the exams guarantees a successful future. Failing dooms you to live a cruel life tormented by suffering and despair. Only the most intelligent or cunning students make it out alive. These are the two strategies of combat. Spend your entire life studying for the test or perfect your cheating strategy. The students who dedicate themselves to studying are called learning type students, and they are forced to collaborate with a cheating type student in order to battle their rivals for the top grades. The cheater Shuga Mu Ming and studious academic Ayo Yi Huang decide to team up against the exams. However, the allies are soon divided, becoming bitter rivals. Will they be able to make it on their own? And if so, who will survive the challenge and emerge victorious? In 8th place is Gunslinger Stratos the Animation, AD 2115. The island nation once called Japan is now known as the 17th Far East Imperial City Management District. The citizens were promised a life of peace in exchange for some of the comfort they were used to having. People believed their lives would never change and tomorrow will be the same as today. No one suspected the impending doom which their society was about to face. Degradation a rare disease which led to the total disintegration of the human body to a mere pile of sand was slowly but surely spreading throughout the world. Toru Kazusumi, an ordinary student, becomes embroiled in a multi-universal battle between his world and the parallel world of Frontier S. This meant that Toru must fight himself from an alternate world. Their futures collide as their paths cross. Will both worlds ever find peace? In seventh place is Jie Mo Ren. When freshman Zhou Zhaoen put on a ring of unclear origin, a terrifying devil leaps from his mouth and his life is changed forever. Shocking historical secrets are slowly revealed. A blood devil calling itself King Zhou of Zhang, a race of heart-eating zombies, a dubious group of Taoist priests that fight against them, and mysterious beings of the supernatural world who can blend into human society. In sixth place is Persona 3. A teenager who was orphaned as a young boy returns to the city of his childhood. Shortly after transferring to Gekokan High School, he is attacked by shadows, creatures that feed on the minds of their victims. The assault awakens his persona, Orpheus, his only chance at defeating these creatures of the night. 
He soon discovers that he shares the special ability with other students at his new school. From them, he learns of the Dark Hour, a hidden time that exists between one day and the next, swarming with shadows. He joins the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, Seas, and with his new friends, confronts the threat of the shadows. After signing a contract in which he accepts his fate of his own free will, the main character battles with the other members of Seas against the Greater Shadows, incarnations with traits and appearances similar to those of the first 12 major arcana of the Terra. While this is occurring, he continues to encounter and eventually befriends the child who gave him the contract to sign at the very beginning of the game, an entity who refers to himself as Pharos, and is really the incarnation of Death, the 13 arcana. In fifth place is Divine Gate. The Legend of the Divine Gate is a story told to young children that depicts the emerging of the living world, the heavens, and the underworld. Adapters, people born with unique elemental abilities gifted to them from the union of these worlds, form the World Council, an organization which controls the chaos of the gate by portraying its legend as nothing more than a myth. These adapters train in a special academy owned by the World Council that allows the students to hone their skills. Kyoto, a teenage boy with exceptional water powers and a tragic past, rejects the offer to join the academy numerous times, until he is successfully pressured by the energetic wind user, Midori, and stubborn fire user, Akane. Together with the World Council and their mysterious leader, Arthur, they seek out the gate in hopes of uncovering the truth. But in order to reach their goals, they must unite and overcome their own despair while dealing with behind-the-scenes mischief. In fourth place is Dimension W. In the near future, humans have discovered a fourth dimension, Dimension W, and a supposedly infinite source of energy with it. In order to harness this profound new energy, mankind develops advanced coils, devices that link to and use the power of Dimension W. However, by year 2071, the new Tesla Energy Corporation has monopolized the energy industry with coils, soon leading to the illegal distribution of unofficial coils that begin flooding the markets. Kiyomo Mabuchi is an ex-soldier who is wary of all coil-based technology to the extent that he still drives a gas-powered car. Kiyomo is a collector, individuals with the sole duty of hunting down illegal coils in exchange for money. What started out as just any other mission is turned on its head when he bumps into Mira Yurizaki, an android with a connection to the father of coils. When a series of strange events begin to take place, these two unlikely allies band together to uncover the mysteries of Dimension W. In third place is Dura Rara. Our main character, Mikido Ryogamine, a young boy who longs for the exciting life of the big city, moves to Ikebukuro to attend Raira Academy with his childhood friend, Masao Mikita, who he has not seen since he was young. After the two meet at the train station, they set out to explore the streets of Ikebukuro. Masaomi warns Mikido about people he does not want to cross in the city, such as the violent and superhumanly strong man, Shizuo Hewajima, the information broker, Izaya Orihara, and the mysterious gang known as the Dollars. After running into some of the side characters, Mikido sees a local legend called the Black Rider, who rides around Ikebukuro on a black motorcycle that occasionally neighs like a horse and who is rumored to have no head under her helmet. The Black Rider's real name is Selty Sturluson, she is an Irish Doolahan who is in Ikebukuro looking for her stolen head while working as an underworld courier. The narrative follows all the characters equally, showing how their lives intersect and create a greater plotline from each character's knowledge about a common incident. In second place is Assassination Classroom. Earth is left in jeopardy after an enormously powerful monster suddenly appears and destroys 70% of the moon, leaving it permanently shaped like a crescent. The monster claims that within a year, he will destroy the planet next, but he offers mankind a chance to avert this fate. In Class 3E, the end class of Kunigi Gaoka Junior High School, he starts working as a homeroom teacher where he teaches his students regular subjects, as well as the ways of assassination. The Japanese government promises a reward of 10 billion yen to whoever among the students succeeds in killing the creature, whom they have named Koro Sensei. However, this proves to be a highly unachievable task, as not only does he have several superpowers at his disposal, including accelerated regeneration, visual cloning, an invincible form, and the ability to move and fly at Mach 20, but he is also the best teacher you could ask for, helping them to improve their grades, individual skills, and prospects for the future. As the series goes on, the situation gets even more complicated as other assassins come after Koro Sensei's life, some coveting the reward, others for personal reasons. The students eventually learn the secrets involving him, 
the Moon's destruction, and his ties with their previous homeroom teacher, including the true reason why he must be killed before the end of the school year. The series is narrated by Nagisa Shiota, one of the pupils in the class whose main strategy in killing Koro-sensei is making a list of all his weaknesses. And in first place is Danganronpa 3, Despair Art. Hope's Peak Academy's unconventional class, 77B, is about to have an even more eccentric addition. Chisa Yukizome, an alumni with the title of super high school level housekeeper and their new homeroom teacher. Cheerful, passionate, and capable, Chisa immediately sets about correcting the students' problematic behavior and strengthening their relationships. It may not be easy dealing with diverse pupils ranging from princesses and nurses to Yakuza and impossibly lucky students, but anything is possible with the power of hope. Meanwhile, Hajime Hinata, an unremarkable boy from the school's reverse course, longs for a talent. One day, he has an unexpected meeting with Class 77B's super high school level gamer, Chiaki Nanami, who presents to him a new, hope-filled outlook on life. However, unbeknownst to him, the school's upper echelon is about to execute a sinister project centered around Hajime that will bring Hope's Peak and the rest of the world to its knees. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked this list and that it helped you find anime you're interested in. If it did, let us know your thoughts down in the comments. And please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you're new, remember to hit the notifications button so you never miss any upcoming videos. Also, don't forget to follow Otaku Sensei on Twitter at AnimeBrownNet. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, oh, no.